hello everyone uh, this is a very simple session on using get metadata activity uh, to check the file structure okay so i have a um, container in which i am having a folder i'll show you that in that folder i have many files and before loading i just want to make sure the file is not empty or it is having appropriate file structure so that i can uh, take it for uh, loading uh, loading purpose okay so i have a output folder inside which i have many files i just want to uh, check the structure of each of these files how to do that using get metadata activity and for each loop that's what i'm going to tell you now so the first get metadata activity it points to the uh, data set delimited text one if you open this it directly points to my folder which is output folder the file name part is empty why i want to do this is i just want to get the files under that folder in the first place and then i'm going to iterate through that file uh, one by one to check the structure okay so the first get metadata activity uh, will be getting the child items so in the output if you look at uh, the output rate of the get metadata activity it will just say the name of the file and type of the um, file or folder well, it can be a folder as well inside another folder or it can be a file in the output folder so it will just tell the child items present in that particular folder which is output in my case so after we have got the details of the files present in the output folder i'm going to iterate through it using for each loop um, in, inside for each loop of the items will be nothing but the child items of the get metadata activity one okay so this for each loop will be iterating through each file and capturing the file name in item dot name so that is what i'm using in the second get metadata activity it is referring to a different data set which is having a parameter for file name so the first data set if you look at uh, this right there won't be any parameter here but if you look at the second data set it will have a parameter name called file name which is uh, which is what is used in the file name portion okay so uh, if you uh, check the so if you see here i'm pointing to delimited text 2 and passing item dot name as the file name part okay and uh, if you see the field list here it it talks about the structure in the first get metadata get metadata activity it is child items because it was not pointing to any specific file but folder but here in this get metadata activity we are passing the file name and hence we are able to see the structure of that file name on the field called structure so this is the difference that you need to keep in mind if you directly point to a folder you won't see the structure here if you point to the file itself you will be able to see the structure argument here so that's it about the implementation i'll just show how it uh, look like so get metadata one this will be bringing all the child items which is nothing but the file names and then each get metadata activity right it will be talking about the structure okay structure in the sense what is the column name that is present in my file each of the file so serial number string employee name string so this is uh, uh, pretty much self explanatory i'm not going to go through in detail so this is after uh you get this right you can probably have another activity called effect if if condition to check if the structure matches or not with the structure that you want there is another video in our, uh, in our playlist that compares the structures of two files there will be a file uh, with the expected structure and there will be an actual file that has come up in the data like storage which you can compare as well so this is the step one for comparing the structure how to get the structure of each file present in the folder hope it helps i'll also mention the um, video number of uh, uh, video number wherein we compare the file structures right so uh, let me know if that helps or if you have any questions thanks a lot for watching uh, keep supporting